In this problem, we have to find the Laplace transform of this convolution. So we have the convolution of e to the 2t and sine t. So we're going to use something com called the convolution theorem, which basically says whenever you have this, all you have to do is take the Laplace of e to the 2t and then multiply it by the Laplace of sine t. That's all you have to do. And then you just take the Laplaces of each of these using whatever formulas you know are necessary. So we're going to need two formulas in this problem. The first one is for the Laplace of e to the at. So the Laplace transform of e to the at is equal to 1 over s minus a. And the Laplace transform of sine t, or sine kt, sorry, whoops. Well, we need sine t, but let me just tell you what kt is first. <laughs> it's k over s squared plus k squared. So in our problem, k is 1, so it's really simple. So this, the first piece will become the Laplace, uh, the first piece will become 1 over, so a is 2, so it's s minus 2. And then the second piece, um, well, it's just k is 1, so it'll just be 1 over s squared plus 1 squared. So really simple. We could combine it as one fraction. Most, time, most of the time people do, so let's do that. So 1 times 1 is 1. Then on the bottom we'll have uh, s minus 2 times s squared plus 1. And that'll be it. That's the Laplace transform of the convolution.